Good day everyone, this is Sophia from the 6th group and today we will be solving two problems using Polya's 4-step problem solving strategy. To start, the first problem states that Mr. and Mrs. Austria loves running around town. From past experiences, they know that Mr. Austria can run 6 kilometers in the same time it takes Mrs. Austria to run 4 kilometers. They have decided that they need to run the same distance of 9 kilometers and finish together. With this, how much of a head start does Mrs. Austria need for them to finish together? Now that the problem has been laid, let us now implement Polya's four-step method. The first step includes understanding the problem. And as we laid out earlier, Mr. and Mrs. Austria decided to run a total of 9 kilometers together and would want to finish at the same time, which is quite difficult seeing as they run at different speeds, which is why we need to find out how much head start Mrs. Austria needs for them to finish at the same time. Now that we understand the main problem, let us now devise a plan, which is the second step of the four-step method. Let x be the number of kilometers of head start that Mrs. Austria needs. Let us also use this equation, which is derived from the problem and the given variables. x plus 4 times time is equal to 9. We will also utilize the distance over time times speed formula. Now let's carry out the plan. Let us first find a time using the formula Time is equal to distance over speed. And now let's substitute. 9 kilometers is the distance that they need to run. And 6 kilometers is Mr. Austria's speed of a certain body of time. Now with this, we will be left with 1.5 hours. Now that we found the time, let us substitute it to our equation. X plus 4 times 1.5 is equal to 9. Let us simplify. x plus 6 is equal to 9. With that, let us now subtract 6 on both sides. We will be left with x is equal to 3. They would need to give Mrs. Austria a 3 kilometer head start for them to finish the 9 kilometer run at the same time. Now to check the answer, let us substitute our answer to our original formula. 3 plus 4 times 1.5 is equals to 9. This now verifies our answer. Let's move on to another problem. Our second problem states that Pedro and Petra went to fetch a pail of water from the well. Pedro had a 3-gallon pail while Petra had a 5-gallon pail. Once they were on their way home with their pails, they found an 8-gallon pail. How should they divide the water so that each one of them had 4 gallons of water? Again, we will implement Polya's 4-step method. In understanding the problem, we understood that Pedro has a 3-gallon pail while Petra has a 5-gallon pail. They then found an 8-gallon pail and now would need to find a way so that both of them can have 4 gallons each. Our device plan consists of strategically transferring water, alternating into different sizes of pails until it becomes equally divided. Now carrying out the plan, we will start by emptying the 3 gallon pail into the 8 gallon pail. Once empty, we'll use the water from the 5 gallon pail to fill the 3 gallon pail, which will leave us with 2 gallons inside the 5 gallon pail. We then would empty the 3 gallon pail again into the 8 gallon pail, which now should have 8 gallons inside. We did this so that we can now transfer the 2 gallons that was left inside the 5 gallon pail into the 3 gallon pail. With that, we will now refill the 5 gallon pail with the water inside the 8 gallon pail and by doing that, we will end up with a gallon left inside the 8 gallon pail. Now that we have a 3 gallon pail that is only filled with 2 gallons and a 5 gallon pail that is full, we will now transfer a gallon from the 5 gallon pail 
into the three gallon pail. With that, we should be left with an eight gallon pail that only has one gallon. A, ga a five gallon pail that has four gallons and a full three gallon pail. Because we cannot put any more water inside the three gallon pail, we will just then transfer the three gallons of water into the eight gallon pail that contain the remaining one gallon of water. With that, we have now successfully split the eight gallon into four gallons each. To review and check, Pedro had a three gallon pail, while well, Petra has a five gallon pail and found an eight gallon pail. After having a fair distribution, both Pedro and Petra indeed have four gallons of water each.